when Russia attacks NATO nations such as Latvia, Lithuania, Estonia, or Poland, does NATO have the stomach to respond? Sure, and I'm mindful of what you told me uh, earlier that when Marty Dempsey was here, he said, I'm in the Russian territory. <laughs> Russia? <laughs> I didn't even have to hear Marty say that. I would have felt I'm looking at dancing bears up on the um, So we, we watched very closely. You know, Ukraine uh, is, uh, is certainly a friend. It's not an ally. Uh, what has, uh, appears to be a frozen conflict in Ukraine, um, and that is what it is. But we're certainly uh, being very, very mindful and watchful of a potential new Russian mischief in, uh, in Europe. They'll take what you give them, right? And we're very concerned in particular about our Baltic allies, NATO allies, Latvia, Lithuania, and Estonia, uh, because they have a, a significant Russian population. And one of the modus operandi that the Russians have is to use as an excuse um, or create unrest in those Russian populations and then say, hey, I've got, we've got to come in and, and take care of our fellow Russians. So we're very watchful of that. Uh, the, uh, the NATO allies, and in particular the Eastern European NATO allies, are, are asking for reassurance from us, and we're giving it to them. And I have no, no question this is an alliance. We live up to our obligations, and that if Russia were to, uh, were under, to undertake that mis mischief, that we would respond. What uh, some, some folks sort of uh, misunderstand, they have this vision of, of Russian hordes suddenly invading those three countries. We think it would start in a different way. It would start, as I mentioned, with... Uh, Russian action to undermine the stability of those countries, and then you know a, a threat along the border, trying to coerce those nations into doing like leave the NATO alliance or something like that. And so we've got to be careful of, of, of how a very clever adversary could approach this problem, and we've got to stay one step.